The Michigan Republican Party has descended into more infighting following a successful vote to remove Chairwoman Christina Caramo. Now, Caramo, following this vote, has decided, I'm not leaving. You can't make me leave. According to local media, 45 members out of the 107 governing committee met in a closed session on Saturday to overwhelmingly eject Karamo as chair. Karamo responded, saying that their vote was illegitimate, because of course, because she's an election denier, <laughs> and had no legal standing under the party's bylaws, and then declaring, I am still the chair of the Michigan Republican Party. Jordan Belfort energy there. I'm not even leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. She even called this an attempted coup. Hilarious. <laughs> More like cuckoo, but anyway. <laughs> Look, I love how the Republican Party is a complete and utter mess in Michigan. They are a shell of what they were, what they were, and they're actually fighting each other more than anyone else, sometimes even getting physical with each other, as I've talked about before. All right. This is while Governor Whitmer and the Democrats are actually notching win after win, even having a slim majority in the Michigan legislature, right? I mean, we got middle class tax cuts. We get the reversal of a tax on pensions. It's going to save retirees more money. Republicans, by the way, put that into place and now are lying about it. We got protections for women's reproductive rights. Um, it could have been stronger, but still there are uh, provisions in it that include insurance that covers abortion. You no longer have to get a separate rider to cover abortion care. You get rid of uh, so-called trap laws that were designed to close down abortion providers. Those are things that they were able to do. There's a clean energy package that is decent, right? It, it sets up the state to be 100% clean energy by 2040. There's a little bit of an asterisk uh, there. Um, for example, 60% 60 of that energy is supposed to be from like solar, wind, hydro, things like that, right? Well, that's good. 40% uh, can come from nuclear, hydrogen, or natural gas coupled with carbon capture. So natural gas, I don't think is 100% clean energy source. Is it cleaner than uh, coal? Yeah, but it still is a fossil fuel. It still does add to the problem of climate change. And so I'm not exactly happy about that. Part of it, Democrats, far from perfect. Let's be clear, right? But they're doing a hell of a way better job than Republicans are, who are sometimes literally punching each other in the face in, in Michigan. I'll take it, all right? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take an imperfect Democratic Party over the insanity that Republicans bring everywhere they go, all right? Now, that said, I'm pro Karamo. Uh, go ahead and stay GOP chair. You are you are doing a bang up job, nailing it every single day. <laughs> and by nailing it, I mean they're a complete and utter disaster. It's a dumpster fire. Karamo had promised to rebuild the party and rescue its finances after the 2022 midterm disasters. Now, how's that going? Not good. Which is reason to celebrate. Look, they're dealing with a, a funding crisis. They can't raise enough money because the big donors don't want to be involved with insane losers. And I can understand why. According to a report in The Independent, Karamo failed to win the donors back. And of course, there's various reasons for that, but mainly because she's an insane conspiracy theorist. She's an election denier, which again, doesn't surprise me because she's denying the election that would oust her. <laughs> Uh, now, opponents are also accusing her, and these are Republicans, by the way, of saying you've increased the party's debts and you've heightened internal divisions, and uh, there are some problems there, okay? We got to get rid of her. Now, let's get to the vote, right? So, now, the state party's official account on what used to be Twitter, still, I, I still call it Twitter, I don't care, on Saturday afternoon, said this. The allegations that Christina Caramo have been removed are categorically false. The rogue faction of anti-grassroots operatives who conducted this unlawful process will be dealt with swiftly and accordingly based on the rules of the Michigan GOP bylaws. You hear that? You hear that? Operatives, we're coming for you. Coming for you. Oh, okay. Now, who runs that account? I'm gonna guess 
Karamo or one of her allies. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so now it turns out there's a little bit of uh, gray area in this one. Okay. Or it just could be that they're wrong. Well, let's get into the details, right? So now, as I mentioned, 71 of the party's 107 committee members were represented at the meeting. So it's not everybody, right? But there was enough to constitute a quorum according to the state's bylaws. That said, there is something interesting here that the uh, you know Karamo allies are pointing out, and that's by proxy, okay? So proxies... They don't, they count when you're trying to establish a quorum, right? So you have to have a quorum of people in order to take a vote like this. That said, the proxies aren't actually able to vote to eject a leader, according to the bylaws. So hold on here. That actually left Karamo's fate to 40, to the 45 members who were there in person who did vote overwhelmingly to oust her. So when she says, oh, I don't know, it, it, it seems like a little bit of a shady, you know, crappy move, she might be kind of right about that. Now, Karamo supporters say that they never gave permission to certain officials to nominate proxies on their behalf, right? Saying that, oh, those people that were nominated as our proxies to represent us, they didn't actually represent us. They were there to stack this so that they could get rid of Karamo. Mm, yeah, but there's also nothing in the bylaws that says you can't do that. Officials can select a proxy on behalf of a committee member who has not nominated their own. So, look, this is, a, this is some dirty, dirty moves, but permissible by the bylaws under their own rules. So, I, I'm thinking that they're out of luck. That said, I wonder who's actually going to try to get Karamo out of that chair. Well, I wouldn't want to be the one <laughs> to try to drag her out, uh, kicking and screaming, I'm assuming. Uh, look, this entire drama that's going on in the, Repu in the Michigan Republican Party is it really just kind of illustrates how much the two sides really are at odds, how much they hate each other if they're resorting to these kinds of tactics. All I can say about this entire situation is let them fight. Let them fight.